Hello. Morning, Jessica. Hey, welcome hey. to my FM, Laura. Well, thank you for having me. I think it's safe to say you were a challenge master at Redemption Island. How did you stay so focused in each duel? I mean, I think I knew I had to get back into the game. My daughter is over there on the other side. And even though she was saying, my mom has got to go, my mom got to go, <laughs> I still felt I got to get back to my daughter. Like, she needs me. And so it was just that I just really felt that I needed to get back over there to help my daughter, and yeah. that was my motivation. And unfortunately, you just couldn't hold it together where it mattered most. How frustrating was it when you lost your balance? Uh, it was tough. Um, it didn't really show, it just showed that one time when I was kind of dancing on top of the box. I was like that almost the whole entire time. Really? I just, I just, I knew going into the challenge, I had surgery on my kidney. Um, I had a reconstructive surgery on my Achilles about a year ago. Oh. And so I really haven't quite recovered from that. So I only had one good leg. Mm -hmm. When I walked into the challenge, I looked at it, and that's all I needed was just that little bit of doubt of, oh, no, mm -hmm. this could be yeah. my Achilles heel, right? I was thinking this, out of all the challenges, it's one that's going to affect my Achilles. And it just kept haunting my mind when I was up there balancing. I was like, come on, push it. You can mm -hmm. hear Jeff even say, woman, you've got to dig deep. And I was just, it, it just, I just didn't know what happened to me that, that day. So yeah, I love, it was tough. I love the comment you threw to Tina. Please let me have this one. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? At that point, I know I had to throw out everything that I had because yeah. I knew I wasn't going to, and she, Tina hadn't budged. I mean, she's standing up there. She didn't move. And I thought, okay, I got to just throw everything I have at her because I know that I'm not I'm not walking out of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I knew she no wouldn't. I, I absolutely knew she wouldn't, but you had to ask. So, Laura, this season of Survivor was Blood versus Water, and you were the only one to get voted out by your loved one. Were you shocked to see that you were <laughs> the only one? You know, yes and no. I mean... <laughs> It was hard since we were playing against each other on different tribes. The option really wasn't to tap it until we merged. It was only three couples that could potentially do it. Right. And um, going into the game, I always thought, I don't think we'd ever vote each other out. I can't see a circumstance where we would ever vote the person out. But it presented itself to Sierra and myself. And we knew at that point that they were trying to get rid of us. They were going to break us up, mm -hmm. and we knew that we we had to make a move. And Sierra yeah. hadn't really done too much that the viewers saw in the game, and and so it was really hard that heartwarming conversation. And when she's telling me, you know, Mom, no one's going to take you, and they don't want to sit next to you at the end. And then I had to tell her, well, the only reason why they want to take you is because they think that they can beat you. Mm -hmm. And it was just so. I mean, even just saying it now, it just breaks my heart because it was just such a brutally honest conversation we had to have with each other. Mm -hmm. um, and so we just had to decide, okay, what can we do? How can we make this the best for us? And mm -hmm. it was just a matter of, you know, where she just said, you know, Mom, if you're going to win challenges, and by the way, she never told me to throw any challenge. She would never do that. And I know that she got a lot of flack. People were saying, how could you ask your mom? She never asked me to throw a challenge, but... We went through all the scenarios of what is best for both of us. Right. And we knew that if I won a challenge, Sierra would go home. And she probably couldn't win in Redemption Island. Mm hmm Yeah. And so it was a matter of, okay, do what you got to do, and I'll try to stay alive as long as I can. Because we knew that one of us was going to go home, and only one of us can win. Yeah, no kidding. And after that, though, Sierra really did play an incredible game. And I know you mentioned the show about how proud you were of her, but how about now? Now that you've had a chance to watch the season on TV and hear the reaction of the viewers, you must be so excited to know how well your daughter did in the game. Oh, it, it, you know, I don't know if you're a parent or not, but you, parents were always bragging about our kids, talking about how good, you know, my kid is this. And every parent is always bragging about how amazing their kid is. And so for me to have millions of people saying what an awesome girl she is, it, it just warms my heart to see that millions of people are, are saying, your daughter is amazing. And I'm like, I know, I told you, isn't Aww. she amazing? And, and so it, it's just, it's just, yes, we'd love to win a million dollars. Of course, we'd love to win a million dollars. But honestly, that experience of going through that and to see her transform into this confident, fearless woman 
to America now, and she's like America's sweetheart. They love oh, yes. her. Yeah. And I was like, and she 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 deserves that. She's a great great gal, and um, to, for her to be in the spotlight and to have America say you're awesome, it's it's she is. I can't wait to talk to her because I'm going to tell her just how much I loved watching her on the show. I enjoyed watching uh, you too, of course. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, she 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 impressed us. She's you know she impressed obviously the her whole family because when we first got the call to go on to the show, CBS had asked to send me pictures of my kids, mm-hmm. and then Sierra's the oldest, and then I have two boys that are these athletic, handsome, you know, outdoorsy jocks boys and yeah. then I was thinking okay good maybe they'll pick one of the boys and they pick Sierra who you know doesn't even like to camp <laughs> once PE you know and yeah. I was like oh my gosh they picked Sierra but you know what she did amazing she she did a great social game and she pulled out a win when she needed to yeah exactly and uh, what about when you were on the jury though because you had to sit on the opposite side of the room from the players still in the game and you watched Sierra fight so hard uh, for the past two weeks was it frustrating knowing that you couldn't say a word or help her out at all it's frustrating in general because the Monica was pretty set that she wasn't going to budge yeah and and the frustrating part is, and you even heard Sierra say it, is we didn't come there for third place or fourth place. We came there for, four, for first place. And it seemed like Monica was okay with third place. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just so frustrating. It was like you're in a soundproof room and you're just wanting to scream and just be like, Monica, you're, you're not going to win. And, and she just, you just felt so helpless. And it was frustrating to play the game with somebody that was okay to settle to third place. The third place. It's funny that you mentioned you wanted yeah. to just scream because I, when that happened and Sierra got voted out, I screamed so loud. I think everybody probably screamed at, screamed at their TV. That was so frustrating because here you yeah. have this girl that's just fighting to do any Anything. move she can make because like Jeff said, that's how you play the game. And then to have Monica just sit there like, just, okay, just as long as I'm in the top three, I'm happy. I'm good, yeah. Yeah. And like that, that sucks. What do you do? That just sucks when you have somebody that's willing to play that way and you're, you're fighting, fighting for everything your life, you have. For sure. So I would love to yeah. see you back for another season. Would you return, Laura, if they asked you back? Oh, I would return. Well, uh, I, yeah, i got to make sure my husband doesn't hear me. <laughs> he's like, you will never tell him back again. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a sickness. It's, it's like this island fever you get, and I would go back in, in a second. But awesome. Now, now's my time to kind of pay, to pay attention to my family. For and sure. Give them been some of my time that I've been monopolizing this whole time. All right. Well, hope to see you back. It was such a pleasure watching you and Sierra on the show, and thanks for joining me today on my FM. Great. Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye.